Uh, keep it all fan of the player CV. How are you doing? Keep it a fan of the player CV home the way on route to Derby, Pride Park Stadium. Right, yes! Right. Right, there's the noise you want. Um, yeah, on route. Obviously, weather's not too bad. We had a bit of fog early on. It's sunny out there, maybe a bit fresh. But um, safe trip to all those uh, travelling up today as well. Um, just come up to um, the Road Chef Great Box Services on the M1. Um, carried on. Anyway, going on to the game today. Um, it's going to be a very hard game yet again, like, like the rest of them, as they all are. Um, I think it'll be tough today. I think personally, I think we'll, we, we'll more likely lose. Could be, a, could be another high scoring game. But yes, we can go there and we can actually win. Because the nature of this league, that you get, you get that. But I think personally, I think we'll lose today. I hope not, but I just think we will. And I think it could be another high scoring game. Um, but, you know, see how we uh, react from our game the other night against Forest at home. I personally thought we didn't play too badly. We're in the game up until the 80th minute with 10 minutes. You know, Scowan's header, had that gone in, who knows? But it's all with some butts, isn't it, as you know yourself. Um, but there you go. We lost 4-0 and, you know, uh, social media went into meltdown yet again. Uh, you know, but that's another subject. Uh, it's all about Derby v QPR today. And, you know, we um, let's give Wayne Rooney uh, a coach welcome, mate. Um, I'm trying to think of the songs that he sing about him. Um, you know, maybe the one about the grannies and stuff. Maybe you know, give him a Rangers welcome into his new role at Derby. Um, yes, yeah, so unfortunately, I'm going to go for a loss today. It could be a high scoring loss, but football's a funny game, as they say. We could actually go there and win, but you know, I think more of a loss, but you never know. That's my thoughts and views on the game. Um, the co pilot. The driver, the come on you are, Charter. What are your thoughts on you, mate, on the game today? We played a team that has won, won the last five home games. Yeah, I think that, yeah, one five, yeah, I think so, yeah. We haven't won in six. Something like that. Lost four, so two. We are talking about we winning a pretty high. Yeah. Um, but it's so, it's funny, this game. Um, yes, we've got to try and cut out these silly individual mistakes to give us any chance of winning the game. Well, yeah, first and foremost. Uh, we've got to start scoring goals again, which we haven't been, to give us any chance of winning the game. Can it happen? I don't know. My, my head is saying at least a two to three nil or one loss. I like saying we're going to win 7 0. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no. um, I don't hold up a lot of hope, I'll be honest. Yeah. But I hope that hope is um, not right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I second that, as I said earlier before. I said that I can't see us getting much out today, but as Neil said, we hope. I'd like to see Pew playing. Really would. I like to see him get a run in the game. I think that experience is probably needed. He yeah, hasn't had a run. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't done that much when he's come on. But maybe he needs a run of games. Uh, and obviously, Chair being dropped for Pew to come in. Yeah. Maybe Chair needs a break. Yeah. I know he's young and he's excited to watch at times. Have, yeah. But, you know, I think so. I think he's played too much football. Have we got. Any centre backs today? Have we got enough to play three at the back? Or is he going to go 4 4 2? Is Burbett fit? Who knows? If Burbett's fit, he might play a three. If he's not fit, I can see 4 4 2. Might make it a bit more solid. Two old midfield players. Make it even more solid. I don't think that's more than way. But there you go. There you go, ladies and gents. That's our thoughts and views from myself and Neil 
for Derby v QPR today. Um, let us know your thoughts and views. I mean, obviously earlier in the season, I personally noticed it a lot more against Nottingham Forest at home on midweek there, on Wednesday. Earlier in the season, we're moving the ball around quicker. We're getting up the pitch quicker. We're scoring more goals. Yes, teams will find us out. They'll sit back. The high press won't happen. The spaces won't create. Then we've got to do something about it. Recently, we're not moving the ball quicker. We're not scoring as many goals. Is that coincidence? Is that just because teams have found us out and we're, we're struggling to find a way past them? What are your thoughts on that? But anyway, put it on the message. Let, let us know. But obviously, that's just our thoughts and views for the Derby v QPR game this season, today, at the Pride Park Stadium. That's it for yourself. DJ Ranger, Neil Aaron, QPR fans and players TV, home and away. En route to Pride Park, Derby. We're out of it. Come on, you all. Yes! Now keep your home players TV on the way outside of the ground. Hopefully get something in the game, but I don't think so. Food looks alright, maybe not. A bit of local Derby dog. Anyway, see you later ladies and gents. Happy with our fans play CD. Hope you inside the ground at Pride Park Stadium. Um, just for kick off. Still gonna go for a Rangers loss today, I think. I think they'll beat us. They've been playing well at home at the two-point away derby. Um, but this game isn't as mad as you know, so we could actually go really one nil, but also conceding goals is what we're doing lately. Um, and it's good enough like we were earlier in the season. Still gonna go with a Rangers loss today, I think, but um, overall. Obviously, half wants to win. Nil. Change your mind, we're going to win 3-1. 3-1. There you go. Pete's changing your mind. <laughs> Chad, what are you in the score like today, mate? 2-1, QBR. 2-1, QBR. There you go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Neil Warren. Chad, 0-2. Chad, Neil Warren. Chad, 0-2. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
your kind of place in your home today. We're out of here. Come on, Lord. It's in there, right? There's a score from the penalty. Well played by Paul. Yeah. Saying, oh, mate, the one away. Come on, yours.
Five shots. Five six shots. Is that it? So we've carried on. Yeah, hopefully it carries on, mate. One all win. Half time. Second half to score. Come on, you all. They started singing it back and got yeah, yeah. Hello, King Guy fans on Players TV, home and away. On the road still, back from Derby. Obviously, we had to wait around for about an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. In the car park. But there you go. On the way home. It's not too bad when you've actually come away with some form of points in the bag. Um, right, obviously, I said I thought we'd get beat today, and the team played really well, I thought. Um, got a draw out of it, one a draw. I don't think Derby really done too much in the first half. They set to score that goal. Other than that, it was all us, I thought. And very much, I thought, in the second half as well. They may have had the ball, but I don't think they really, um, I don't know, from what I can remember the game, I think, I don't know if the clear cut chance was, well, I don't think they had that many. They had a lot of the ball, but didn't really do a lot with it. Lumley dealt with everything that came at him to a degree. The defence did. The team played really well overall. Um, point away from home against a side who won five on the trot at home. You know, he's good. And you know, for the people at the game today, we could have actually most could have won that game. Whether we should have won it, did we create enough chances, clear cut chances? Uh, from what I saw, most probably not, but we looked the better side overall. Um, I'm going to go Hugo, my man of the match today, even though the defence played well, um, the whole team overall played well. I'm going to go Hugo, he worked great, he's done a lot for the side today. Uh, that's my thoughts and opinions on the game. I'm going to hand you over to the driver, Mr. Aaron. Uh, what are your thoughts and views on the game, mate? Funny old game football, wasn't it? It's a funny old game. On the way up, we didn't give us much hope, much hope at all. 
against, as you say, a team that had won five on the trot and we hadn't won with five. They looked the other way round for most of the game, to be honest. We were the better side all the way through. They had one chance, a free kick, nothing from open play, decent free kick. Yeah, it was good cover. Okay, good cover. but nothing from open play at all. I think we fought to keep winning about three or four saves in the first half. Got in the box plenty of times, got loads of crosses in, plenty of corners. Deservedly got something. Silly challenge by the Derby defender, but deservedly got level. Second half, it's a shame we didn't win the damn thing, to be honest, because I think we was we, we played well enough to deserve all three points, but yeah, I would take a point out of that game just to stop the rot a little bit. And maybe not a clean sheet, but a clean sheet in the fact that we didn't concede a goal in open play. And there wasn't really any mistakes that allowed Derby in at any time. So we're pretty solid, weren't we? As a, as a one up, I, I, we were solid. I do think Derby played into our hands a little bit. Which helped. Um, and I would say that our defence probably had a hell of a lot of headers to make. Yeah. And if teams play against us like that, I think we can be comfortable on the back. Um, yeah, I would say a good point and a good end to the month. Yeah. And I'd agree you. I thought that was the best I've seen him play for us up front of his own. I thought Pew had a decent game and I think he could get a bit of a run in the team there. He might do, yeah, he might do. I mean, I don't he might not be 100%, 100% match fit because he's not really played. Well, yeah. Um, I, think, I, think, I think as good as Chair, well, from when he'd been out low last season, come at this season, he started pretty decent for us. He's, a, he's still young. Yeah, we need a bit of experience in there. I think he gave us that little bit of an experience. I'm not saying he played. Absolutely brilliantly. Yeah. Well, Don't I, think gives, yeah I, Don't well. I think he gives you that little bit of experience. Yeah, he's played in the Premier League. I tell you, I thought he played well for well. us today. Um, right. Right, played well. He gives you pace, he gives you another option. He was causing their left back a bit. Of he runs people. He went past people very easy. Yeah. And he won the penalty. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. He yeah, so, won the penalty. Yeah. Um, whether it be a bad challenge or not, he was there to win the penalty. Yeah. Um, yeah, overall, we played well. Can't complain. There you go, ladies and gents. On the that's, that's our thoughts on news for Derby v QPR. Yeah, we didn't give much hope, as Neil said, going up to the game. But obviously, um, it was a funny old game, as they say. Yeah, that's our thoughts and reviews on the game today. Obviously, you will have yours. For those who went, for those who watched it on online at home, good or crowd, by the way. Yeah, good turn up by the QPR support as well today. Um, that's myself, DJ Ranger, Neil Warren for QPR fans and players TV. Still on route back from Derby after being delayed in the car park for over an hour. We're out of here. Come on, you are. Yeah, 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 you. Yeah, 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 you. QPR FC. Fucking hate Chelsea. We're out of here. You are.